In Flipgrid, learning is meant to be a social experience, and that's why when your teachers create a topic, the student to student replies feature is automatically on by default. Now, if your teacher has left this feature on, then you as a student are able to access a grid and view and respond to any of the video responses created by your classmates for that topic. Let's take a closer look at how you as a student can leave a reply in a video response added to a topic by one of your classmates. So I've gone ahead and accessed the Language Arts 6A grid as a student and I'm inside a topic that allows student to student replies demonstrating the recorder features. Notice that as a student I could choose to record a video response or I can see the selfies which are links to all of my classmates video responses. To add a reply to a classmates response I just simply click on the response, I'll pause Please. it, otherwise I could view the entire response before replying and when I'm ready to leave my reply I simply click on the green reply button here in the center to launch the Flipgrid recorder. Notice that I have all of the features of the Flipgrid recorder, including the ability to add filters, add text or stickers in order to add context to my video reply even add digital inking or flip into whiteboard or blackboard mode in order to add live digital inking. And I even have the upload button so that I can upload a video that I've crafted in a different video recording tool or extension and even upload stickers to add more context. In addition to having all of the features of the Flipgrid recorder to enhance your video response, you also have the ability to organize your thoughts and ideas by adding sticky notes and adding a few uh, key points, things that you want to refer back to and add to your video response or reply. You can also click on show topic to reveal the topic and move that around the screen. That can be handy if you want to refer back to the topic as you try to add or further the conversation from your classmates response. You could also use that topic in order to generate a follow up question to your classmate. In addition to keeping the conversation going, you might also use student to student replies in order to provide constructive peer feedback. Let's quickly add a response so that you can see what that finished product will look like. So I would go ahead and hit the record button. I would record my response to that classmate. Click the next I button. Would record. I can review, I can trim the clip, I can add more uh, video segments and of course move those around. Click next to take the selfie. I can always decorate the selfie or enhance the selfie with filters, text or sticker overlays, digital inking, or even switch into whiteboard mode and do some digital inking and leave that as a selfie. I can go ahead and click next to submit my reply. I'll add my display name and click submit my video. Notice that I can uh, copy the direct link to my video if I want to share it. I can download my video and download my selfie. I can hit complete and I want you to notice, let's just close out this reply. I want you to notice that this student response has a reply to it and I can tell because I can see my selfie bubble up here in the top right corner and if I click on that student response, I can see that selfie bubble right there. I can view my response by simply clicking it and that will switch record to my response. Regardless of why you're leaving a reply to a classmate's video, try to keep your reply positive, respectful, and any peer feedback constructive. 
It's a really great idea for teachers to review digital citizenship and model effective feedback and positive peer feedback for the class before allowing student-to-student -student replies.